Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to make a Zulu or a, some other type of clock. And it's a little bit harder because the numbers are rotating around. And he's having trouble getting them spaced out evenly. So I just took his clock and hit P, put it in the center of the page. And all I did to get this rectangle, see if I can't get rid of that rectangle for a second. Let's just move the clock back. Hitting P, put it in the center page. I've already done some guidelines at 30 degrees and I got his numbers a little bit closer uh, or to the to where they need to be. And then I'm just gonna take, I have to ungroup it, go to object and ungroup it. And I'm gonna take that double zero Holding down the shift key, I'm gonna hit the rectangle tool. I just put a rectangle around that double zero. zero. I'm gonna move it out of the way. And now I'm gonna move my clock out of the way. I'm gonna nudge this back. All I'm doing is hitting the arrow keys. And then we're gonna to go to Windows, uh, Dockers, uh, Transform, Rotation, and we're gonna double click on it and put our rotation in the center. It doesn't look like it sometimes, then you double click it again and it is. I'm gonna rotate it 30 degrees 11 times because we already have one. And there you go. Now, if we take this number, this seems a little unorthodox, but it really works. Hold down the shift key and select that box and hit CE. It's centering it each way. Holding down the shift, hitting this box, CE. It's putting it at the angle. Hold down the shift, grab that box, EC. It doesn't matter which way you put it. Let's do a couple more. Holding down the shift, selecting the box, EC. Those numbers are exactly spaced out around the clock. My indexing lines are actually off a little bit. Um, that I put, so let's just take those away. But that's how I would do those numbers. Now, a normal number that's not upside down when it comes around the clock, and you could do the same thing with the, with the outer numbers. Let's just do that real quick, just one of them. Let's grab that, control G and group it together and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Let's ungroup it. I actually kind of worked on your numbers a little bit. Go to object, group, ungroup, grab the 12, and really, see, you don't know that that's exactly on top of the other one, so we'll hold down the shift and draw a rectangle. And the only way to tell would be to measure. And it looks pretty close, but I would measure it before I do anything. And then I'm gonna nudge my box out of the way I'm gonna mess up that. Because um, I ungrouped it. Let's just see if we can't just nudge these out of the way. But see, they are going in that angle. So let's just, let's take one more out of the way. Let's take this box and nudge it back to where it was. Double click and hit it in the center. And let's do the same thing 11 times. And then all you have to do is take your 12, shift, select, CE. And it should put it exactly in the center. Anyway, I hope that kind of helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.